Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Um, I'd just like to share something. You know, I woke up this morning and um, I was in prayer. And while I was in prayer, the Lord just gave me um, a little update on what He showed me, like I shared in the last video, that there would be a transformation before we are taken. The transformation before the transformation, right, of the rapture before the dead in Christ rise and you know I explained everything in the last video what he showed me in a dream and how it confirmed with you know um, scripture as well as you know other people receiving the same thing <clears throat> but while I was in prayer I was speaking to him about something completely different you know he interrupted me and took me straight to this, you know, so I I prayed, I continued praying after and I was like, okay, he, well, he gave me understanding to it and he was showing me everything I'm going to explain now and then afterwards, I was like, okay, well, if you want me to share this, then, you know, just give me a little confirmation because, like I said, I don't do anything without the Lord telling me I should do it. And as soon as I opened the door, I came out. What I was thinking in my mind was basically what he was showing me. And battle cry was in my thoughts. And as soon as I opened the door, you know, he showed me. I had on a microwave the night before I microwave something, you know. And he always, I think, I, sh I can't remember if I shared this before um, with you. Or I know I shared it with my brother, right? But lately, God shows us, or he's been showing me, you know, a range of different numbers. One of these numbers has been 144, over and over and over, you know, and I couldn't understand what it meant until last week. Um, he showed me that the 144 that he keeps showing me has to do with the battle cry, you know, as well as other things he was Different times it was pertaining to different things, right? But it has to do with preparing for battle. Psalms 144, right? And as soon as I came out, like I said in my mind, I had battle cry when I came out. Those numbers, I looked straight at it. The coincidences, you know, the chances that I would look straight at the microwave and see 144 as I come out speaking, you know, on the battle cry. When my um my mind was on this a couple minutes before you know that was a confirmation to me so i'll just share what he, he was showing me so it's just an update to like what i was saying of the transformation um before the transformation and what i shared is coming it aligns perfectly um, in scripture line for line and basically if you look in Matthew 25, it speaks about the parable of the wise and foolish virgins. Now, he showed me this months ago, but now I even feel even more that when we see this event, this kickoff event, like I explained in my last video, immediately start thinking of the wise and foolish virgins, the parable, because that is intertwined with that scripture. And it also in lines with things he showed me before, like in the summer, so I'll get to that. So I'll just read the first 10 verses and then I'll show you how it connects perfectly to when we see this event take place. You know, and there's a lot of words showing that it'll happen this fall. You know, and it's people who I know God confirmed things with me. You know, so it's not everything that I see people share that I believe. That's for one. There's only a few people out there that share words and dreams and things that I actually know because I get confirmation from the Lord from in my life personally. You know, things that He showed me aligns with what they're shown. You know, and um, this um, I forgot what I was going with it. Oh, but the words was the fall you know a lot of these people they're getting words from the lord showing them that it happened this fall right so 
In the parable of the wise and foolish virgins, verse 1, it says, Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should be they should not be enough for us. And you, but go rather to those who sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him in the wedding, and the door was shut. Right? So that's just a quick run through of the scripture. Now, the reason why I said this has to do with the kickoff event is because if you go down to verses 5, let's start with verse 5. Right? So verse 5 says, But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. Now, there's so much of us, you know, those of you who are awoken, like I shared before, if you're awoken and God is showing you these things and you, you, um, hearing from God in the Spirit, He will show you that there has been a delay because a lot of the things that He's been showing me before, I thought was going to happen before. It was like the the sense that He made me feel, the urgency was like these things were going to happen, you know. And likewise with other people, so most people have been waiting for the rapture to happen before, right? According to what the Lord showed us, but according to Scripture. He said that there would be a delay. Now, I shared a vision in June, and there's certain things that I said in it, you know, and then I made a follow-up video of of what that meant. That, you know, like um, where the Lord was showing me things would happen by the summer, right? I know it's from God. You know, I knew there was no mistake in it, so I shared it. Obviously, nothing happened by the summer, but... I made a follow-up video which explains everything that I think he was pointing to. But even more so, he, the scripture says that there would be a delay. So him showing me that things would happen in the summer but nothing happened, it just goes to show that there is a delay because I know without a doubt that the things that I saw in that was from God. You know what I mean? Whether people believe it or not. It doesn't matter who believes it. You know, I know that that was from God. So... It was like he was showing me even more that there was, there is a delay, right? So it's meant to be a delay. Verse 6 says, And at midnight a cry was heard. Now immediately this is what the Lord brought back to my, brought into my thoughts before he started to speak <clears throat> on everything this morning. It was like I was praying to him about something completely different and then he just interrupted me and showed me this. Um, out of like nowhere, it came out of from nowhere, right? And he brought this up to me. He says, at midnight, a cry was heard. Now, lately, the past week or two, there's many people who have been receiving different words of the battle cry, right? And even, um, I think, Byron Searle, <clears throat> who received a lot of words from God, he spoke on the battle cry. I saw another sister yesterday shared a word where the God, where the word was battle cry and her confirmation was you know she like I think she said she liked Turner Classic Movies that movie was playing that day and there was a movie called Battle Cry right so God is telling us that there is going to be a battle cry right and he connected that with the scripture and at midnight a cry was heard now in this dream or in the video that I shared that there would be a transformation right um, for the kickoff event the way that the Lord showed me was you know there's gonna be a big event 
that happens that's going to change everything when we see this big event take place then that is the battle cry and this is the shout that it's going to be a shout that he is coming right so at that time he said verse 6 says behold the bridegroom is coming go out to meet him and then verse 7 says then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps now verse 7 speaks about the transformation that i was speaking about in the last um in the last video that i made now we know that when christ in his darkest hour when christ was in the garden of gethsemane in his darkest time when he had to go through the most difficult moment you know of his life he prayed to god his father and um the father sent an angel to strengthen him right so that he could take on the weight of the world now the same thing as we see in scripture is the same thing and i posted some other scriptures of this being confirmed that when it is most darkest the most darkest hour sin increases grace also increased so um, if that happened with Christ in the garden, same thing will be with us. In our darkest hour when the world takes a shift to a change of being, you know, if, of going completely dark, God is going to turn our lamps up brighter and he's going to give us more of his power, you know, so that we can make that battle cry, which he is, which he is telling us, you know, to, to make which he's sharing amongst the, the children, the bride, right? So he's just showing me how much that transformation to different scripture is being confirmed. So it says, Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, so our lights will get brighter, and we will be empowered more with his spirit. We'll be given more of the spirit to make that final cry. And then it says, verse 8 says and the foolish said to the wise give us some of your oil which means that they are going to see the transformation that take place inside i don't think it'll be visible in the sense of um like uh the uh, body transformation like um like when the dead when christ will rise but i think it'll be a more spiritual empowerment of I believe you know I don't know we don't know but I just assuming it's going to be more um, anointing of the spirit to walk in in his power right so we'll see but obviously verse 8 says the foolish said to the wise give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out which means that they see this transformation right and they realize that he is coming but the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, which is the Holy Spirit, right? But go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. You know, so at that moment, it's going to be a sharp cry, and then Christ is going to come. So that perfectly aligns with everything I just shared in the last video. Um, so I do believe it is appointed that we're going to be here for the event. There is going to be a transformation. We're going to be filled with his power to make the last final cry. And then Christ will come before it gets really dark and the tribulation will begin. So he was just showing me these things. And, you know, like I said, I received confirmation to share it. So I'm just sharing it. So... I hope this blesses someone, encourages someone, and gives you understanding. You know, like everything that I share, you know, just take it to the Lord uh, for confirmation. Don't even believe me. Confirm everything to make sure that what you hear is actually from God and aligns with the Word. So thank you. Have a nice day and uh, blessings.